Hello everyone, Attack Power here with a monthly tournament game using some new divisions. Let's dive right into this one between Koenig and Farid Rommel. On the left, in the red, we have Colonel Koenig playing 7th Desert Rats on V for victory. Beautiful. And on the right, we have Farid playing 9th Panzer on Maverick Income. Love the division, not the not the income. <laughs> Just kidding. So let's dive into these. So these two players decided to put off their... Uh, I think they put off their like decider match for the so some monthly tournament and uh, only picked uh, new DLC divisions for their match. So we're going to see three great matches between these guys with a whole bunch of new divisions. So diving into 7th Desert Rats, one of my picks for the stronger allied divisions here. Uh, we have some Recce, we have the Staghound, a Cromwell Recon, a Damler Little John in B, and the 75 mil Autocar also in B. Love those things, though. Don't love them in B all the time. Infantry tab here, we have Field Engineers in A, the Rifles Piots, Assault Engineers also in A, uh, the Multi Rifles still in A, and then B phase, we have some Double Vet Assault Engineers, Desert Rats Double Vet, and a C phase card of Double Vet Rifles Piot. Remember, they get the extra veteran C, but have the Battle Weary trait. Tank tab here, we have some the Abbot of Chantry. Still not sure why you'd play this, just for flavor, I guess. Uh, Cromwell 5, the Cromwell 5 Leader, also an A, and a Firefly 5, C and A, and then B phase, we have another Cromwell 5, two Cromwell 5 Leaders double vetted. I, I will never like Koenig's tank tabs, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's not a hate, I just, they're so not the way I'd ever build them. And the Cromwell 7 in C, especially Cromwells, like, these aren't even, like, like tank tanks, they, they die very easily. Uh, and then... Sport tab, Vickers, and two cards of Cromwell Sixes with our 2K HE. Very nice. AT tab, we have six pounder, two cards of Wolverines, double vet in A and single vet in B, and a C phase card of single vet 17 pounders. This is so strange. <laughs> Crusader AA in A and B phase Crusader A Mark 2B. The tri in on it. Then the Arty tab, we have Arty leader in A phase, Sexton in A, and then off map in C phase. What? And finally, air tab. We have Spitfires and two cards of Tempest A and C phase again. How is he affording 150? Oh, he's V for victory. I totally forgot he's V for victory. I thought he was Maverick. I was so confused. Now this makes a lot more sense. Still don't love the build, but it, it makes a whole lot more sense. A very light on leaders. One card of already leaders. That's literally it. On the other side, Ninth Panzer really like this division. Uh, probably better on Maverick, but you know me, balance everything. Yeah. So, uh, recon tab, phenomenal. We have Alpha Panzer 1s. Hopefully, we get to see these guys in action. SPW 234/3N1. That's the uh, cannon version and the auto cannon version. The Panzer 2 Lukes in B and the Panzer 4J in B phase as well. In the infantry tab, we have Grenadiers. Not sure why you'd bring these in here, but Sturm Pioneers, Pioneers, and Panzer Grenadier G43 variant in A. B phase Sturm Pioneers, Panzer Grenadier G43 again, and Panzer Gren, Panzer Faust in B. And C phase, Panzer Gren. Just regular Panzer. So it's kind of funny that the Maverick deck has a way deeper deck than the V for Victor deck. Very strange. The tank tab, though, we have A phase card of Panzer 2 Luke's leaders. Then we have Panzer IV GNA, Panzer IV H and B, Tiger, the one card of Tigers you get, Force Double Vet in B, and Panzer IV C in H. Support tab, Flammenwerfer, MG34, Gorilla, and uh, Inca, uh, not Income, Supply, excuse me. AT tab, we have Panzer Strike, Panzer Jaeger 35R, love these things. Uh, Martyr 3 F22 with their nice uh, Soviet Dis 3 board out gun. Then we have the uh, Martyr 3M as well, and a Pack 40 all in A, my goodness, and Jagdpanzer IV in B. AA, just Mobile Wagon A and B. There's nothing really wrong with that. Already tap very light here. Just SDK of Z, 250 slash 7, right? 7? Yeah, 81 mil mortar. Don't see those super often. And the off map, yuck. And the air tab, we have the Focke-Wolf 190A4 U4, the Focke-Wolf 190A8 R6 with the rockets, and then we have a Focke-Wolf A8 fighter at one vet. So here we go, folks. Diving in. Really pumped to see both these divisions. I think they're both great divisions. If you guys enjoy this, hit that like button. Subscribe. Consider checking out the Patreon. Link down below and attackpowergaming.com. Thank you to everyone who has supported me financially at any point. It really does mean a lot. So down south, just a bunch of Sturm Pioneers and the Panzer 1. Do you see a Staghound and a bunch of Assault Engineers? Uh, it depends on where this Staghound ends up. That's going to be the clincher here. On the hill, a whole lot of stuff. Pushing for the flag. Do you see a bunch of SPW-234s, though? Some infantry and such coming as well. And some Panzer Jaegers and another Panzer 1. So a bunch of Panzer 1s coming out. Big push up north here for your uh, Farid. Koenig's not completely defenseless here, though. This is not nothing. But none of it's AT or anything like that. So any... Uh, well, a bunch of Martyr 3s here. These are all indestructible at the moment. All right. Staghound trades with the SPW-234, or probably the... 
it's probably this thing that killed it. MG34 gets unloaded. Down south, the Staghound stopped early, so the Sherm Pioneers get in just fine. Spam of our Pioneers try to square up against the Field Engineers. Flamma Buffer is not going to do great against the Assault Engineers here. Now, Assault Engineers are not anything incredible in the woods, but they're still better than a Flamma Buffer. So the hill under immediate threat. Again, blue side just has the short end of the stick on this one. Engineers clear out the Pioneer. Farad missing that micro there. Not like him. That early smoke from... Where did it come from, anyway? Now that I think about it. Where the heck did this smoke come from? From the Flammenwerfer? Did Farad bone himself? He did. He threw so much smoke, he screwed himself. Very interesting. So double Flammenwerfer, rifles Piat, forced back by the Grenadier? Probably the Martyr 3s and stuff, too. Martyr 3s and such have finally arrived, can force the Vickers off. We can see the Vickers taking more damage because of that fallback reduction. Big deal. It's going to be pointed out many times here. And it just, it completely changes the feel of the game. Like, it, it's actually worse shooting units that are falling back now. Before, it absolutely did not. It, it actually was not worth it at all. Panzergren, unfortunately, getting stuck in the BS glitch here. Panzer Shrek, though, sneaking in, taking out one of the Cromwells, one down. Hot's back out, 2-3-4 now free to clear out this half-track, which is causing big issues here. Salt Engineers overwhelmed by the Dumb of Flammenwerfer, and Farad's push up north bearing fruit here, as the push on the hill from Koenig kind of actually faltering a bit here, potentially. The SPW-234 might clear out this multi rifle in one burst, we'll see. Oh my goodness, yeah, that would have never happened before. That would have probably taken one damage, perhaps two. Now, Cromwell going to respond, though. Take out that 234. Big kill there. Really needed that. Down south, things quiet, but Koenig quietly building up a large force down there. As the Panzer One doing some work. Look at it go. Go, Panzer One. Little buddy. 234 blasting through and immediately falls back? What? Kind of weird. As the recon from the 234s and Panzer Grens, uh, regular Grens, excuse me, finding all these troops to pick on. As another flag will fall. MG34 needs to get unloaded here. Awkward. Down south, any push happening yet? Kinnick setting up, moving for a little flank here with the stack helmet appears, perhaps the field engineers. If yeah, Farad's in a bad spot here, actually, he's really got like nothing. I really want to see how good these Panzer 1s are against actual armor. That's my that's my actual question. Pan Diego with their 90 mil penetration can kill off these Cromwells, actually. I can't re I think, the, does the Panzer Jaeger f survive a hit? I can't remember, honestly. I want to say yes. Maybe no. Maybe it's actually no. This SBW 234 is just, <laughs> just crushing. Clearing out the Vickers. Panzer 1's doing some work, I gotta say. At 300, so it has been using its AP gun thing. It's killing this motor rifle. Like, it is dying. And it's definitely not the MG doing that. MGs don't really kill very often. Wow. Okay. Go Panzer 1. Sturm Pioneer in a bad spot, getting caught out. Can't even fire back. Piot will have a chance to kill this Panzer 1. I mean, couldn't get a lot of, in a ferret in a lot of trouble down south, actually. I'm not sure if he's realized it, or he just doesn't care. He could be going all in on the north. Panzer 1 is now backing up. Let's see how it does against this thing. Weird. So it hasn't killed this thing yet, and it's been doing this quite a while, actually. Gets a tracks broken. Staghound's going to kill it. All right, so this is definitely an anti-infantry unit. This is not killing tanks. Let's just put that frankly. Let's make that definite determination. Sturm Pioneer could take that out. 
MG34 supporting. Spitfire. Recon. This one does not have weaponry. SPW goes down to the Piot. Nice kill there. I don't understand the Grenadiers. You you have more Panzer Grens, I feel like. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he used them all, actually. Martyr 3M coming in trying to close up this push. Sturm Pioneers easily cleared out. So Koenig picking back all the flags here down south that he lost up north. But Fair is pretty dug in. It's going to be an issue. Because the thing is, Fair will get these flags back. Most likely, they're pretty far forward. So the question becomes, can Koenig clear off this hill? Yeah, Pack Point needs to get into a spot to actually defend this stuff, that's for sure. Martyr 3 still alive. Staghound now hiding. Salt Engineer's doing a big flank. Very interesting. Panzer 4G coming in now. Do see a 6 pounder, but we know there's no 17 pounder still C phase, so there's no 2K AT until very late in the game. The question will be, can Koenig survive the Maverick Onslaught? Because remember, he's V for Victory, and I, I love this. This is my probably my favorite income matchup, even though I don't play V for Victory personally. I think this is the one to be most exciting. Can V for Victory survive an 800-point deficit in B phase? It's a big ask, honestly. It's a very big ask. That's report coming right in. That's pretty ballsy. I would not want to get within 1,500 meters of this forest because of the six-pounders. Oh, the six-pounders going to take up a cheeky spot here. Martyr 3 goes down to the Cromwell. No, the Wolverine. Panzer Jaeger. Okay, it can take a hit. Go, buddy, go. Oh, you can't miss, dude. Uh, twice? Wow, that's awful RNG. The extra veterancy on the rifles is paying off here. Answer one, doing work. These are pretty solid against infantry. Now, they're not better than like an actual auto cannon. Let's be very clear about that. But it is only 10 points. Uh, 15, excuse me. Staghound goes down. Panzer four trying to get in position here. Panzer Gren falling back, though. As Farad temporarily got a 1311 back. Six pounder is going to wreck him, though. Gorilla is coming in. Might save the day. Baka Wolf is here, so did it spot that? That's the real question. Did he spot the six pounder? Well, he certainly hasn't spotted it yet. Six pounder actually misses. I feel like the thing never misses when it catches something out like that. Maybe I'm just thinking of the American 57 mil cheese raider trait one. I will say I'm not excited to have more of those in the game in 101st. Baka Wolf coming in to try to take care of this. Other Focke-Wolf Recon should keep eyeballs on it. See how this thing is. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, all right. I'm impressed with that. Did not think that would do so well. Now, the problem with rocket planes is the second they get some suppression, the rockets spread, and they do so much less damage. But rockets should be a little better now with the fallback nerf. That's the thing, because you could almost, like, retreat halfway in the rocket barrage and take way less damage. And now that won't do nearly as much. G43 Pandagren doing the work. Martyr 3 finding a half-track free kill. That's fun. Now it's going to die to the Wolverine. Oof. Looks like the Pandagren's going to win this. Promo should be able to finish this Martyr 3 off. This is really aggressive. I'm not exactly sure what Fair is hoping to accomplish by doing this. A singular Martyr 3 with no support just pushing forward. But now Fair under strain because he's losing the hill. And that's, I don't want to say it's a death sentence, but it's definitely really bad. But we're now in B phase. So now the incomes are going to flip. Technically, uh, Koenig had a pretty good advantage here of 200 points in total. Oh, Martyr 3 dropping the ball. This is the F-22 with the same gun as the Martyr 3. It's very good. No, no hate on this weapon. This is very good. Although it is five points more than the other Martyr 3. A little bit more armor. Not that it really helps. Ah, uh, 50 cows here to ruin the day. Panzer Jaeger's pouring in. Bakawa is still floating around. No AA from either player. Is that what I'm gathering? Yeah, it looks like it. Firefly coming. Okay, so there was 2K AT. I, I kind of forgot about this thing, to be honest with you. Salt Engineer did successfully get across this time. 
This Falcon Wolf does has. Oh, he's just got crappy machine gun. Marta 3 goes down to the Piot. Wow. Look at you go, Piot man. Secret Piot man. Secret Piot man. Doing the work. All right, Panzer Jaeger. What can they clear out? Took a two inch carrier out already. Got a crew killed on the half track. All right. I love Panzer Jaegers. I think these things are absolutely cracked. At 25 points, 90 millimeter strike trade with 15 rounds a minute, going up to like 17 or 18. Absolutely nuts. Finishes that off. Bakwell finally forced off. Some AA came in, right? That AA was that just 50 cal doing it. That's just 50 cals. Can't say I'm shocked. Grenadier being forced back. Again, Maverick Ingham starting to pour in. And Farid decides to go with an off map with the first chunk of his Maverick income. I hate that choice. I'm not even saying I hate that choice because I hate off map. I just think that's a bad choice here. Like he needs to stabilize his line, not call in poopy off map. Ends up in a nice spot here, but he has no way to spot for it. Like, it's just blind. And I'm not sure what this Grenadier's goal is. Like, what was he trying to do with this? Falco Wolf back in. Do you buy a second one of these? How much are they? 60 points? Really about to spend another 60 points for another one of these? Okay, so there's AA somewhere. Crusader AA. There it is. Panzer 4? Did it find a fun target? Oh, it lost it. The Damler. Yeah, again, it's blind. This is not actually a great matchup, but it does get the kill. Takes a pen, of course. Always going to take that first. Panzer going to lose it out here. As Koenig is turning up the pressure despite the growing income imbalance. So now they should flip. So now we just had the first flippage of income advantage. Panzer Jaeger going after the Damler Little John. Looks like one is already dead. But Damler goes down. Panzer Jaeger doing the work. How far up is his auto car going? Oh, is he going to kill the off map? Oh, no. I mean, I'm rooting for it. Die off map. Oh, supply goes down. Oh, that's so bad. Wait, the Panzer 3 can shoot? Oh, that's dirty. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, you kind of deserve that, Ferret. Sorry. Off map trash. Oh, oh, my God. That's so bad. Oh. I'm not going to lie, the the I've always thought Orshi East was a, a relatively fair map, but I honestly always see players, like, I see so few players win from the, the blue side of the map because it's just such bull crap. The sec it's so hard to hold this hill, and the second you lose it, like, this entire portion of the map is just cut off from you. It's awful. This Panzer Jaeger is the absolute hero, but now he goes down. There's nothing he can do. So, Half Track does die. Oh, so he managed to... What? I didn't see an off-map call-in. How did I miss that? Seems weird. Cromwell goes down here to the Martyr 3. Take something with it, though. Cromwell's 6 now under attack by the Martyr 3. Easy kill for that Martyr 3 if he can get on target and shoot. Okay, miss sadness for the Martyr 3. Sexton up nice and close here. Salt Engineers killed something but took a big hit from the Grilla. As the Grilla comes in with the Jagdpanzer 4, which is basically indestructible here. Martyr 3 doing work. Oh, what? No, he doesn't have APCR on. He just dropped the ball. That's some really weird lines of sight. Panzer 4 going to fail to finish this thing off? These are so fast. I mean, obviously they are. That's like their one thing. Panzer Guns fly in. Cromwell going to swing back around to try to kill off this armor. It's two on one, though. Might take out the Martyr 3. It does. No way. Is the Panzer 4 already damaged? Oh, that's so bad. Guys, I'm really impressed. Koenig holding on to his advantage here despite the income difference. As Farad makes a push here into this town. Cromwell 6 just wrecking it. Oh. Grenadiers, no chance against the assault engineers, obviously. 
Wow, and things falling apart a little bit here for Koenig, I would say. Uh, for uh, Ferret, I would say. He's on the back foot, no question. I mean, yeah, he's got the north. I, I don't understand what he's doing with this. Like, why is this out here? I mean, I guess it totally cuts off this Cromwell 6 from doing anything. Still is like a unnecessarily ballsy play. Pack 40 finds a Firefly for free. Can it get the kill, though? Does get one pen. Zagula tries to hold the line down. A tiger might help this situation. Your tiger here. He actually gave you some AT. Your panzer guns can do nothing against... I mean, they're crushing the desert rats, but they can't do anything against anything else. Firefly does go down. Gorilla now here as well. Cromwell's going to pop out as the pack 40 runs away. Gorilla in trouble. Panzer IV coming in to try to reinforce... Desert Rats get absolutely wrecked. Now, this Panzer Grand does have a chance. It has the Panzer Fouls. Could sneak up here. Yak Panzer IV showing some side armor. Not good. Only way this thing really dies other than a 17-pounder. Oh, there's a Firefly, too. Just kidding. They're not as strong in this matchup as usual. But they are technically invincible to most things. Bogwolf, unfortunately, terrible turn pattern. Oh, God. Flies right over some AA. Tiger is in. Kills off the Cromwell. Bakwa is still going to get away. I guess this is just 20 mils. The Crusader A's feel so good, but they're still just 20 mils. All right, all the armor dead. Koenig, uh, Farad clawing his way back in. The problem is he's only got three more minutes of his B phase income, and he's spent it all on the back foot. The question is, has he traded well enough to make up for it? I'm not sure if he has. Marta 3 goes down. Oof. Can the Panzer IV finally take out this Cromwell 6? ha -da! It gets a pen. Infantry pushing across here. Can he keep it up his aggression? Cromwell down. I mean, Koenig's position on the hill is, is a little thin. Little thin. Oh, hill pressure. You know, that's never going anywhere. Yeah, Vickers goes down. I, again, I am loving this fallback change. I just... You still do get a damage debuff. Like, there, you do take less damage. It's just... It just doesn't make you invincible anymore. Doesn't make it this, like, hilarious laugh-out-loud thing where you're just like, okay, I just got hit in the head with a thousand kilogram bomb and, I like, one guy died. Like, lol, 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 lol. Firefly queuing up to go after this Panzer IV, Yak Panzer IV, which is turned the wrong way. Just misses it, though. Panzer Gang gets a nice blast off on this engineer. Reinforcements pouring in now for Farad as he tries to solidify going into C phase, but eh, it's not looking good. Remember, income now not in his, his favor at all. That Firefly is going to kill that. Okay, he's on the run. Six pounder gonna find the two, three, four. Oh! Eek! Still lands a hit. So the armor on the hill is starting to make a difference. Crusader AA versus the two, three, four. Technically, the, the technically the SPW should win this. I would think it is winning it. Can it kill it? It does. Big kill there. Sphera just blasts infantry back out here. He has a fair bit of CQC. It's just not great CQC. Man, he's probably running low. It's mostly just Sturm Pioneers. Kudig was able to push back into this town. Still only a 13-11 for getting. These are quite the, uh, quite the front lines here. Panzer IV coming in to fight the Wolverine. 
Pantopor looks like it's gonna get the first shot off by far. Yeah, the Wolverine's painful turning speed is killing it right now. Forces it off. Getting rid of that 50 cal support. Gila slowly dislodging these infantry from this complex here. Getting still on a 13 level. Here's the Tempest now. Oh, that hurt. Pack 40 died. Not terribly surprising because he was out in the middle of nowhere. Although the Cromwell 6 died for it. So definitely working there. Koenig actually very weak down south, but again, it's now V for victory time, so C phase, infantry uh, points pouring, oh, what is that, five Brens <laughs> actually killed a transport? Panzer IV can't see that Desert Rats. Can see that Wolverine, apparently, though. Nope, just kidding, he can't. Lies. Deceit. Oh, the Focke Wolf is spotting, I understand now. Oh, it's actually going to give the Wolverine the opportunity to kill these tanks. And he falls back. Oh, Desert Rat's dead. Gorilla's still wasting ammo. He really needs to stop. Tempest in again. Panzer IV goes down. We're really pushing in here, but the English infantry are much better at this sort of range than the Panzer Guns. I mean, 7th putting up a nice showing here. I, I, I like ninth a lot, but the thing is, at the end of the day, ninth is, as the common argument goes, still just a Panzer Division. Like, that always, that's always what it comes down to when it comes to these, like, 1st SS Panzer and 2nd Panzer and ninth Panzer here and even things like older divisions like Gross Deutschland, um, you know, 20th Panzer, 26th Panzer. They're, they're, at the end of the day, they're Panzer Divisions. And Panzer Divisions just aren't that strong in this game. Now, I will say 26th, Stronger because of its infantry being uniquely strong um, and having just a, a big variety of other units that aren't just standard Panzer Division units. But truthfully, if you're working with a standard Panzer Division, which there are many in the game, right? We have I'm try to list a couple of them. We have this new 9th Panzer, of course, 2nd Panzer, the new one, 1st SS Panzer, which is still essentially a normal Panzer Division. Then you have 5th Panzer, uh, 20th Panzer, Panzer, it, it's a little more unique. That tends to be why it's rated higher, because it does have some more unique weapons to it. Um, 116th Panzer. Um, 16th Panzer. Um, although that's that one is a little bit more unique, I will give it that. Um, you know, they all just fall into the same category of, well, they're Panzer divisions. They have their strengths, which is longer range, especially mid-range. Uh, they, they really dominate. Their infantry, all long range stuff, but they lack CQC, generally speaking. Um, everything just tends to be expensive. You know, just in a general sense, units tend to be a little bit on the expensive side. Um, and, you know, they're not, they're, it's the same sort of weaknesses across the board. A lot of them tend to be a little bit short on air force, air power. I mean, Fair making a nice push here, but this is basically where. Uh, essentially, this is the, his most advantage time in terms of income. Like, he's actually getting to enjoy the fruits of all his extra income. The extra is he's still behind on tickets. And right about now, Koen, uh, Koenig is equaling out the income. And from here, it will just, the difference, the disparity will just climb, right? He'll just get more and more. Hence my love of long divisions, uh, long incomes that everyone else is like, are garbage. I understand. They kind of can be garbage. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Did the mobile wagon spot it? He did. Wow, that's very lucky. Piat is still there. Could easily pop back out. It's going to. Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, what a kick in the nards. And Baratheon throws it in with that death there. 26 minutes and 4 seconds. What a game. 2425 to 1865. Yeah, I mean, Farad, of course, on the crappy side of that map, but I, I, I do think Kerna just outplayed him there. Really aggressive at the beginning of the game. Uh, and Farad was just then th on the back foot through the entire second part of the game. Uh, really nice. Cromwell 5. Wow, holy crap. Yeah, it's hard to win when a Cromwell 5 gets this many kills. And I, I think, actually, that this is not a great matchup for Ninth Panzer. Because Ninth Panzer has a lot of light armor. Like, a ton of light armor and medium stuff that Cromwell's actually match pretty well up against. Um, so you're, you don't have you don't enjoy the same, like, difficulty. Like, Stugs and stuff do quite well against Cromwell's because Cromwell's just struggle to kill them. And you, you just don't have met, you don't have those in Ninth Panzer. And of course, again, you're relying on a lot of recon cars and stuff, which Cromos actually counter really well. So I would actually put this as a really tough matchup for Ninth, especially on this map, where it's a lot more mid-rangey, almost close range in a lot of spots, where Cromos can do quite well and trade up really well. And Ninth Panzer just doesn't have the tools to do that. But if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, because they're checking out that Patreon and attackpowergaming.com. Thanks a bunch, everyone, and have a fantastic day.